What is up, everyone? What is good? It's me, the Mad King Paradox S, bringing you guys and gals Pokemon Episode 52 Live Reaction. Now, I know I'm a little late on this, and I also know that so far, spoiler free, spoiler free, the only thing I know about the episode is that Solgaleo shows up at some point. That's all I know about it. Other than that, I have no clue. So, but a lot of people were... Like, the only other thing I know about this episode were people were apparently losing their mind over it for some reason. So, that's half the reason why I just went, like, numb to all spoilers. Or I just, like, anything where it can say, Oh, there's a spoiler! Didn't go anywhere near that until I saw the episode. So now, I've carried on long enough. Once again, I will not be using sound because I do not think I can get away with that. So if you want to, follow along on another browser of your choice as you hear me give my two cents in the background. Which, at this point, I'm surprised you even care about. Go right ahead. Now, let's begin the episode because I'm already a minute and a half into this and haven't started yet. So, three, two, one, go. Coughing, wheezing, Lunala, and Sogaleo. Okay, I'm gonna up this real quick. Because it's one of those ones where it's sub, but it's like that corner screen with the rest of it being the background. Alright, just a recap from Lily's perspective. Type null wrecking coma O. I did not even think to look at what the names of the other dragon was. It was Jangma-O, some long one, and then Koma-O. I don't remember what the middle evolution's name was. In fact, while they're doing the opening segment, I'm going to look that up real quick. The first time I actually watch any of these opening segments it comes in handy for me hold on I'm gonna look this up real quick Como oh All right still going on Hakoma O. That's the middle evolution's name. Hakoma O. Okay. Well, that's clarified now. And we're still not done with the intro segment. Hi, Lunala. Ash, I understand that they made a gimmick of, oh, it's a Pikachu with Ash's hat. But you wearing Ash's hat while using your Thunderbolt should disintegrate it. There shouldn't be anything left of it. Sogaleo descends. And that is the only reason I know that Sogaleo is in this episode. Alright, and here we are with the Tapus. I think this is the first time in the series we've seen Tapu Bulu and Tapu Finny as well. We've seen Tapu Koko and Tapu Lele, but Finny and Bulu, I do not think we've seen yet. Oh, is Pikachu going to play Diplomat again? Alright, so they're explaining to Tapu Koko the situation and what they intend to do. And now the Finnies, not, not the Finnies, but the Tapus are debating it. Okay, at first I thought that was an Ultra Wormhole. But all of the field terrain abilities that the Tapus have are mixing together. And it creates a vision of the past that was in a dream
and all the Pokemon are like, just, oh, look at that, look at that. And their union created Cosmog. So, am I to believe that they, what they just did was pretty much their version of breeding right there on the altar in front of the Tapus? Because they showed up, glowed, merged, and then Cosmog was made. And apparently the Tapus were in on this the whole time. I don't remember if they said that they were in the flashback with Ash. Now you see, I always thought that that moment was a little... Like, too convenient. But now they're showing that, oh, the top booze actually set it up to where Ash would find Cosmog. Rowlet. <laughs> oh, hi, Cosmium. I'm not certain if that's how you pronounce it correctly, but that's how I've always said it. Yeah, that's its evolved form. Uh, Lele, Finny, what are you doing? They're doing something. I'm not entirely certain what it is. Gladian, don't interrupt them. Don't be stupid. Lily, that's probably the first sensible thing you've said all season. So are they healing it? Are they doing some sort of ceremony? I'm not 100% certain what's going on here. Well, Kakui's going off. But the way off was blocked. The way off was blocked. Huh? Hi, Team Rocket. Are you going to be of no use this episode? <laughs> James just getting left in the dust. Please tell me that Beware just lands right in front of them. A badge looking thing. It's kind of sleeping, Lana. Not Lana, but a Mallow. I want to say it's more or less a Chrysalis.
James, you uh, you honestly think that this thing is a pre-evolved form of coughing? Still, it looks nothing like it now. It's Cosmium! <laughs> Munchlax. Oh, you're going up against an army of Jangma O and Hakoma O. Okay, now I understand the mad sweating. Hero pose on the stairwell! And he uses a braviary! <laughs> All of their faces. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> yeah, you have no idea how impressive it would be if you were to get all of those to the boss. Beware! <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, they're over there now. Okay, so they're still going to be in view of what's going on. Oh, Jesse, just back down. Oh, and it's killing them with their spines being smashed. And while the Fett's trying to leave his own body. <laughs> I love Beware. Everyone, get to your designated po uh, pillar. Why would everyone be facing away from the Tapus? Even if they're just doing barely anything, somebody should keep an eye on them, and what is that? It's a sundial. Not sundial, but like, it redirects sunlight. Interesting. Wait! Yo! Nebby is so galeo! <laughs> Plot twist! <laughs> Gladian! He can't believe it! <laughs> Just that face of... <laughs> and Rotom is going crazy! And now James realized that it's the legendary, and Meowth's just like, so what happened to it being, what happened to it being Coughing's pre-evolution? Oh, James, they're not going to let you live this down. Oh, beware, what was that? <laughs> okay, in any other instance, 
Ash, I would tell you to bail. Just bail. You have a cosmic lion in front of your face. If it wasn't Nebby, I would tell you to bail. <laughs> oh, Kiawe's going cosmic flame. Okay, Lily, in any other context, I would not have said that. Just walks up to somebody and go, Can I touch you? Okay, how am I... S I'm s very surprised I have not seen people Photoshop that yet. It evolves into Sogaleo! And you're still gonna try and feed it the candies? Okay, its tongue is gold. Its tongue is gold. So now we're doing like a flashback montage of, you know, things happening with Nebby. You wanted to ask Sogaleo. I suggest ask him now. Uh, what is that? A Z Chris Wait. But it won't fit in the Z ring. Weird. Wait. Wait. He just ate it. What are you doing? What is happening? All the Tapus are like encasing the Z ring, doing some weird, like, eight crazy thing, and just spitting it out so that the other one can do it. It's going back, bef it's going between all four of them. Like, Okay, the last one spit it out. Okay? It's the black Z ring now. Gladian, you are so impatient. But the Z crystal. What does the Z crystal do? Alright, so everyone's just getting on its back. I understand that it's a big Pokemon. But traveling through an Ultra Wormhole on the back of a lion. With all of you there. And the women side saddling. That does not seem very safe. Okay, the Z move. Oh! 
Oh, it's Sogaleo's Z move. I should have realized that. And there's the Ultra Wormhole. And Team Rocket are losing their minds. Oh, you two missed it. Into Worlds Unknown. And that is the episode. All right. Okay. So, Nebby turned into Sogaleo. I was fully expecting it to turn into Lunala, but we got Sogaleo. Ash got an updated Z ring, the black one from the new games, and got Sogaleo's Z crystal. Okay, that uh, that all happened. Huh. But that brings in the question, what happens with Lunala? Is there just going to be one that pops up somewhere? And that also brings in the question, like, we all knew that Cosmo was going to evolve all the way to one of the legendaries. And that, um, one day... At some point before the end of this series, it's going to go off somewhere and not be with Ash anymore. So with what's been going on, my guess is once they resolve the Lusamine debacle and the Ultra Wormhole situation is taken care of, that Sogaleo is going to just either be at the Altar of the Sun from now on, or it's going to go into an ultra wormhole and we won't see it anymore. Those are my two guesses. But anyway, that is the end for this episode. This has been the Mad King Paradox S signing off. Oh, I went short this one. So I will see you all in the next episode where we'll be in ultra space, apparently. So I'll see you then.